I have been using 16 into 2 LCD for displaying the census data. 16 into 2 LCD interfacing with Arduino, Omega, or Node MCU, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module is really a hectic job, as it needs a lot of soldering and needs many eye opens to control a 16 into 2 LCD. In today's episode, you will learn how to use a 16 into 2 LCD on your cell phone and display the sensor values and text messages just like the ordinary 16 into 2 LCD. But this version of the 16 into 2 LCD is pretty advanced as this is an IoT based LCD. You can also call this a wireless LCD. With the help of this LCD you can monitor your sensors from anywhere around the world using your cell phone. In this episode, I will explain the very basic things how to use the 16 into 2 LCD widget and Blink application. For the demonstration purposes, I will use a variable resistor with the analog pin A0 of the Node MCU module, so that you can easily understand the basics. While in the next tutorial, I will show you how you can use this LCD with Arduino in an advanced level project in which the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module will be interfaced with the Arduino. So the next episode will be based on the 110 or 220 volt AC mains frequency monitoring system using the 16 into 2 LCD widget and Blink application. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This project is based on my previous two tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi board and how to download and use the Blink library and how to fix the USB UART driver error. While in this tutorial, you will learn how to make a power supply. For the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module, so that it can be easily powered up using a 12 volt adopter or battery. The tutorial links are given in the description. This is the complete circuit diagram designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. Let's start with the power supply. This is a DC female power jig where you can connect a 12 volt adapter or battery. This 12 volt will be used for powering up the Node MCU module. As you can see, this 12 volt is connected with the input of the 7805 voltage regulator. 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with the LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output pin of the 7805 voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the Node MCU module while the ground is connected with the ground. A0 pin of the Node MCU module will be used for monitoring the variable resistor. This variable resistor can be replaced with any analog sensor. As you can see, the variable resistor middle pin is connected with a zero pin of the Node MCU module. While the rightmost and leftmost pins of the variable resistor are connected with 3.3 volt and ground. As you can see, a variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Node MCU module, while its ground is connected with the ground, and red wire is connected with the 3.3 volt. This is the regulated 5 volt power supply. The orange wire is connected with the VN pin of the Node MCU module and the ground wire is connected with the ground. I will use this 5 volt regulated power supply to power up the Node MCU module. Now let's make the Blink application. First of all, open the Blink application. Click on the new project. Set the project name as LCD. Click on the Choose Device and select Node MCU. Make sure you set the connection type to Wi-Fi. Then click on the Create button. 
an authentication token will be sent on your email ID which will be then used in the programming simply copy and paste it in the programming click anywhere on the screen and search for the LCD widget and edit click on the LCD widget Change the input type to advanced, then click on the pin and select virtual pin V2. From here you can change the screen color and fonts color. If you want you can select any other color. Our application is ready and now let's discuss the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install node MCU board and you also install a driver for the USB UART. I have a separate video on this. The link is given in the description. Widget LCD LCD V2. We will be using the virtual pin V2 to display the text messages and data on the LCD widget. String data. This will be used to store the value of the variable resistor. The value will be converted into string as the LCD widget accept data in string format. So this variable will be used to make a complete message. This is the authentication number which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of your Wi-Fi and this is the password. Integer VR is equal to A0. Variable register connected with A0 pin of the node MCO module. Integer S data is equal to zero. Sensor data will be stored in this variable. This function sends Arduino's uptime every second to virtual pin one. In the Abe widgets, reading frequency should be set to push. This means that you define how often to send data to blink application. Unlike Arduino and Mega, Node MCU also has at least two functions which are the wide setup and wide loop functions. White means that this function is not returning any value, while the empty parentheses means that these functions are not taking any arguments is the input. Serial dot begin 9600. Activates the serial communication while 9600 is the baud rate. This will be used only for the debugging purposes. Pin mode is a function and it takes two arguments is the input, the pin number or the pin name which is VR and the status which can be input or output. As we will be monitoring a sensor so that's why we set it to input. Pin mode VR input. Blink dot begin authorization SSID and password. Set up a function to be called every second. Sensor value is a user defined function which is called every one second we can change this time. Since a value is a user defined function, it has no return type and it does not take any arguments is the input. Its data is equal to analog read VR. This instruction simply reads the variable resistor value which is connected with analog pin A0 of the node MCO module and store this value in variable S data. Then add this value with the variable data to make a complete message. Then using the F conditions we check if the value is below 4 digits number or equal to 4 digit number and change the flake status from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 0. The purpose of these two F conditions is to clear the LCD only if the number of digits are changed from 3 to 4 or from 4 to 3. So this way we stop the unnecessary repetition of the text messages and update the sensor values only. To display data on the LCD we use lcd.print function and the data should be of the type string. The first number represents the character or simple position while the second number represents the row number. Row 1 is equal to 0 while row 2 is equal to 1. So the lcd.print function actually takes three arguments the character position, the row number and the string message. Finally at the end we empty the data variable for the new values. 
This program can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.